Hi and welcome to Crush on Sociology. Biological best explanations of the differences in behavior of men and women have not been confined to those who have located these differences in the hormones, brains, or genes of the two sexes. Other writers, including anthropologists, have focused on more obvious physical differences between male and females, and related this to the allocation of social roles. George Peter Murdoch was an anthropologist who argued that biological differences between men and women were the basis of the sexual division of labor in society. However, he did not suggest that men and women are directed by genetically based predispositions or characteristics to adopt their particular roles, instead, he simply suggested that biological differences such as the greater physical strength of men and the fact that women bear children lead to gender roles out of sheer practicality. Given the biological differences between men and women, a sexual division of labor is the most efficient way of organizing society. In a cross-cultural survey of 224 societies ranging from hunting and gathering bands to modern nation states, Murdoch examined the activities assigned to men and women. He found tasks such as hunting, lumbering, and mining to be predominantly male roles, and cooking, water carrying, and making and repairing clothes to be largely female roles. He stated that man, with his superior physical strength, can better undertake the more strenuous tasks such as lumbering, mining, quarrying, land clearance, and house building. Not handicapped as is woman by the physiological burdens of pregnancy and nursing, he can range farther afield to hunt, to fish, to herd, and to trade. Woman is at no disadvantage, however, in latter tasks which can be performed in or near the home, like the gathering of vegetable products, the fetching of water, the preparation of food, and the manufacture of clothing and utensils. Thus, because of their biological function of childbearing in nursing, women are tied to the home, and because of their physique, they are limited to the less strenuous tasks. Murdoch found that the sexual division of labor was present in all of the societies in his sample. And he concluded that the advantages inherent in a division of labor by sex presumably account for its universality. Anokli, a feminist sociologist, explicitly rejected the views of Murdoch. She did not accept that there is any natural or inevitable division of labor or allocation of social roles on the basis of sex. She said, not only is the division of labor by sex not universal, but there is no reason why it should be. Human cultures are diverse and endlessly variable. They owe their creation to human inventiveness rather than invincible biological forces. Oakley first took Murdoch to task, arguing that the sexual division of labor is not universal, nor do men always perform certain tasks and women others. She maintained that Murdoch's interpretation of his data was biased because he looked at other cultures through both Western and male eyes. In particular, she claimed that he prejudged the role of woman in terms of the Western housewife-mother role. 